Because remember when you got started, you were just dropping nuggets. Yeah. Like every morning, <laughs> it was just yeah. free content. And then people, I don't think people really grasped or understood how valuable it was up front if you really listened and applied what you were given. Yeah. Because yeah, sure. it, turned, it turned my business around. It turned uh, my friend Aaron's business around because I introduced him to you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was yeah. like, yo, you got to watch Daniel, dude. And Aaron, right now, he's the number one loan officer in the company that I came from. Yeah. Number one. And yeah. He gives you all the credit. Right. I was at a point where like my production couldn't my production wasn't where it needed to be. I wasn't really getting any the, any resources as far as training or anything like that. And then I saw you come up and I started watching your videos. I remember watching your videos in the morning before I would go to work, all the mindset things, and I started applying the script and I saw results change. My production started going up. I started being more comfortable comfortable on the phone. So Nice. Yeah, that's nice. how that's how I got it going, dude. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. I've uh... I done a few pitches just in the week because I had training, nice. and I mean I went I went two for two for getting over objections and uh, getting to move forward. So pulling the credit, so it was good. It was awesome. Not, nice, nice, cool, man. Yeah. So before we begin, I got just a couple questions. This is more kind of like um, getting an idea of exactly where you are right now, work wise, yeah. production wise, and all that good stuff. Okay, it would just take a few minutes. Sure. And let me see. What is... All right, so. Um, Again, what's your first name and what kind of loan officer are you? Okay, so uh, it's Ryan is my first name and I'm a uh, mortgage development officer. So basically, you know, we handle everything from the application, the paperwork, and we move it to the processors. And, um, you know, then we just have them sign all the paperwork. So we're kind of the, the middle person between the banks and, you know, the loans. So that's okay. what we that's what I do. Cool. And how did you originally find Sales Remastered? Uh, it was on YouTube. On YouTube. YouTube, I did just just a quick Google search and boom, you popped up. So, you know, the rest is history. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, right? When, do you, when do you usually consume the content? Uh, let's see. I usually do it at night, actually. I'm a big nighttime guy. And if I need to, um, I keep the scripts with me. So when I do outbound calling, I'll have, you know, in a row, I'll have the framing, if I'm speaking to them after, uh, to the pitch. So I keep it all right there and uh, ready to go. Okay. Okay, cool. So yeah, you, usually a majority of the audience watches that in the morning, right? Right before they go into yeah. work. So at night when you're when you're um, consuming the content, how does it make you feel? Like about the day ahead or the, at that time? Oh, good. Yeah, confident. Because I mean, you have, like you said, I mean, just follow the script. But like, you know, it's yeah. right there. There's nothing, uh, there's no curveballs. When you follow it, you know, and you frame it correctly, it's a lot easier to go ahead and move forward with the loan, you know, because it makes sense when you frame it the right way. For sure, for sure. Yeah. And um, at the time that you're looking through YouTube, right? Like you're kind of just searching mm -hmm. for the content before signing, finding the channel. What was the problem that you were having that you're hoping to overcome? Um, just really, when I went through my training, there wasn't really a definite sales process. Like, I mean, they told you a little bit about it, but they never said, okay, here's step one. Here's the, the your first origination call that you're making. Like, and then you're gonna, this isn't a sales call. This is a follow-up call where you go ahead and you say, you have an idea. You know, that's not something that they had. There's no structure to it. So uh, obviously, in order to actually stand out, you need to have some sort of structure to it. And like you said, it's just repetition and following a script. And um, so, I mean, it's worked perfectly so far. So nice. that's why I reached out. Nice, nice. Okay. And what was different about Sales Remastered versus the resources you found before, elsewhere, or have around you? Um, so they, the one that we used before, it was it's called Zenix. So it's like a Zenix training. I don't know. It's they're they're popular, but it's they're pretty much the opposite. I mean, they're like, if you have meeting with realtors and you want to win them, win them over, invite them to coffee. You know, I'm, I'm like, I'm sitting there after I watch your stuff. I'm like, why the hell would they do that? If, if there's no value in it for them, why the hell would they just go ahead and say, sure, you know, I'll meet you for coffee. That's just, it's just complete garbage. So I, I like the idea. You got to give something in order to, uh, you know, get anything back. And it's, it's a, it's a give and take definitely, besides definitely. coffee. No one, <laughs> anyone can get coffee for a dollar. You know what I mean? All right, <laughs> so, cool. And what does your business look like now by incorporating some of the teachings at Sales Remastered? Um, so like I said, I just, I'm just starting off, but I mean, everything that I've pitched so far from either inbound calls, like inbound originations or outbound, I mean, it's gotten through. So um, it's been about five calls. So we moved at least five into the credit pull and uh, we're able to move through with two of them so far. So they're in the, the actual underwriting stage. So it's, it's really cool. So I'm, I'm just beginning, like I said, but sure. You know, like you said, there's people that are stuck in their ways that have been doing it for 20, 25 years. I'd rather do it right the first time and not have to change anything. There you, know? you go. So that's, that's my method. Again, my name is Renee Lovo. 
I am a uh, inside loan officer. So I do have the ability to do purchase as well. So they allow us to pretty much do whatever, lo whatever kind of business we're able to bring in. Nice. But the main, the main leads that I get are all, um, they're, a lot of them is, is uh, lending tree leads. Okay. Um, and then they have us, uh, they give us access to trigger leads. Oh, nice. So nice. To be able to outbound on. Yeah. Cool. So today, like, um, when do you usually consume the content at Sales Your Master? It's in the mornings. Okay. I usually wake up at four. Nice. So between four o'clock and about six is my me time. So nice. Between that time, I'll, I'll either be reading, I'll be working out, or I'll be watching uh, videos regarding like sales, podcasts, things like that, just to kind of feed my mind. There you go. Nice. The bright content. And then um, what drew you into studying the content at Sales Remastered versus anywhere else? Well, I connected a lot more with you because you're in the trenches. You know, you're doing exactly what we're doing. Um, so you're right there in the hustle with us. So who else would have knowledge about what we're doing rather than somebody that's already in, right? Yeah, yeah. It's the, pretty much the main thing. Good point. And then what was one problem that you were having before finding the content at Sales Remastered? Just um, kind of having some sort of structure to the call. Getting to, the because this is right when the market shifted. So pretty much being able to structure my, my phone call in a way where I can actually find out what my client needs, what their pain points are, and doing it in a way, in a way where it's not so salesy. Yeah. It's more of a, just a conversation. Nice. It flows okay. a lot better. Okay. And then um, what did that frustration feel like as you try to solve the problem without the support? I just felt like it wasn't going to go anywhere. Um, yeah. It just felt kind of stuck. <laughs> yeah. You know? Making a lot of moves, but no no actual results, right? Yeah. And it was it really felt like a grind. You know, I was putting all the hours in. It was like, uh, it was insanity because I was doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. So yeah. that's why I, I sought the help, you know, and I sought mentorship, I sought um, coaching, you know, and I think what kind of sets you guys apart is that you guys are coachable. You know, yeah. there's a lot of people just in this industry that are kind of just thug minded and they're like, no, man, I'm gonna figure this out myself. <laughs> well, the, especially the veterans, the ones that are not open to change. Yeah, because yeah. I think in this market, if you don't adapt to change, you're not gonna flow. No. You're gonna Yeah, sink. you're gonna drown, dude, for sure. Yeah. Initially, I was, you know, becoming a new loan officer. I was trying to get ahead of, you know, listening to podcasts. For a while, there was this lady I was listening to. And honestly, I just like, they just seem outdated. And she put me to sleep. And then I just um, found some Facebook pages about originating. And then one of your, one of, an ad came on or you, d you posted something on there. And then I gave you a try and then I was hooked. So... <laughs> And okay. you, you're still, you know, within the game, you're not talking past tense. And that to me was huge because really what you're doing right now works and it's working now rather than it used to work. Um, and so that, and you weren't just your average salesperson and you didn't sound salesy. You were, um, more educational and just straight sounds, you know, more genuine and honest rather than sugar coating and, you know, everything. So yeah. Okay, cool. And then what was a problem you were having before discovering Sales Remastered? Well, just as an example, um, I took my first call January 31st. And this year, I, I came in second place towards the end of the year as far as the President's Club. But then I, I ended in seventh place out of over 140 loan officers. So nice. it was Top a real 10. good boost that I needed. Yeah, that's <laughs> so awesome. I can say that. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, especially compared to just starting, right? Already moving yeah. up to the top 10. So I appreciate you a lot, Daniel. And, uh, of course, bro. you know, you helped me make, you know, like 10 grand. So, you know, yeah, yeah, <laughs> everything's, good. Paid, everything's paid for itself, you know, tenfold for me. Yeah. So I just want to say thank you. And no uh, thank worry, you for my corner. And um, I'll do you proud now. Ooh, I'm high off the power. Ooh, she gone off the power. Yeah. Ooh,